What's up YouTube? It's your boy Stans here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel guys. Today is a very special video because it's going to be a very informative video for you guys to take advantage of. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to download Pixelmon. And I say Pixelmon because I'm not showing you how to download not only just Pixelmon Generations but Pixelmon Reforged but any other Pixelmon mod pack that's out there. And uh, you guys can just, you know, hop onto your favorite mod pack and enjoy your time. So to start things off, we are, and this is the easiest way possible. At least this is personally my way of doing it. Easiest way possible. Um, first thing you're going to need to do is download the Technic Launcher. Now, uh, there is a website for it. It's going to be technicpack.net slash downloads. But if you guys do not remember that or you guys decide not to click on the description of this video, you can literally just open up your browser and just type in Technic Launcher. You, uh, the first thing you're gonna pop up, that's gonna pop up is exactly gonna be that website that I just finished telling you about. Download the Technic Launcher. Now it's an easy process, it's easy setup, it's virus free, I can promise you guys that because I use it and I haven't had an issue and uh, plenty of your other favorite content creators use it as well. So once you download the Technic Launcher, I'm gonna need you guys to launch it. And if you guys aren't familiar where to find it, it's gonna be one that looks, that has a wrench as a logo. And this is how it's going to pop up. It's going to usually uh, pop up on the Discover tab where it tells you all the different mod packs that are trending and stuff like that. If you guys are looking for Generations and looking for Reforged and it's not on the trending like front page, you can go to where it says Mod Packs and just type in Pixelmon. Um, it's going to be like a search engine and it's going to search through all the mod packs in the Technic Launcher. You type in Pixelmon and everything pops up. Now, like I mentioned before, there's two mod packs. Um, there's the Pixelmon Generation, and then there's Pixelmon Reforged. You guys have your choice of choosing whichever server you get, or whichever mod pack you guys would like to use. I personally use both of them, uh, so you guys are more than welcome to do whatever you guys like. What's another cool little feature is a lot of servers actually have their own mod pack. So, for example, Poke Metals Pixelmon is a preferred server that I play on, and they have their own mod pack here that you can download. And it includes, of course, the Pixelmon Generations or Reforged, depending on what server, um, what mod pack the server uses. And uh, it'll download the Generations or Reforged mod pack for you as well. So uh, maybe if there's a server you guys are eyeing, it might have a mod pack, um, like launcher itself, that you can download. So keep a lookout on that as well. Like Dark Games MC Pixelmon, I've played on there before. I had the mod pack as well. So, of course, it, it downloads the Generations or Reforged, depending on what it is. Of course, once you download it, um, you can literally just scroll down where it says Play and click Play. And then it'll open up the mod pack. It launches your Minecraft. If your Minecraft isn't linked to uh, Pixelmon Generations or, or isn't linked to Technic Launcher, of course, you log in. And then, of course, the mod pack opens up. Now, another thing that I'm going to show you guys uh, as my mod pack loads up is uh, sometimes, and a lot of the times, uh, people have an issue with like their game crashing. When it's your first time downloading the mod pack and it's just not working perfectly or not working right for you, it's usually going to be a RAM issue. Um, I have 9 uh, gigs of RAM allocated for this mod pack. Uh, you really only need about 3 or 4. And I think um, 8 is just like the perfect number for me. But let me go ahead and show you guys how you guys would go about that. So, uh, say for example you're having that issue where you keep getting kicked for no reason, it's your first time using it, you're going to go to where it says mod pack options, you click on that, and uh, you're going to see, you know, you're using the latest version, you, you know what's going on, cool, that's great, now you're going to go to launcher options, and you click on that, you're going to head over to your Java settings, your Java settings should have pretty much what you're looking for, um, with the allocating the memory and stuff like that, I have 8 gigabytes, like I just mentioned, but the thing is, when you first download this, it usually only gives you about one, one gigabyte. And it's not really, there's not really room for you to change it to anything else. That's usually because the Java version that you have is not the 64-bit, which is the one that works pretty smoothly with the Technic Launcher and the mod packs. So now, I'm going to have to have you guys download the Java version. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to Java. And once we head to Java, I'm going to actually have the website for you guys to take a look at. Because it's a little like you have to dig for it to try to figure out exactly where the specific one that you're looking for is at. But what we're looking for is the Windows Offline 64-bit. When you highlight over it, it says download Java software 
for Windows 64 bit. And of course, once you click it, you get yourself the little setup icon, which I have down here. And I'm not going to set it up because I have it already, but the website's going to be java.com. And then uh, once you head over here, you can just go through the download and try to dig for it to find it. But of course, I have the actual website for you guys to use. So I take advantage, uh, I'd have you guys take advantage of using the link that I already provide for you. And again, this is coming straight for Java, so it's going to be exactly what you're looking for. It's going to be uh, virus free. I can promise you guys that because again, I use it and a lot of your favorite content creators use it as well. Uh, and then once you download this, you should be able to go back over to your Technic launcher and you restart your, your Technic launcher. Of course, you're going to have to close it off and open it back up just so that, you know, it updates knowing that you have the 64 bit head back over to your launcher and then look at the Java settings. And now it should have the 64 bit for you. Once the 64 bit is there, you can allocate the, uh, the RAM memory to whatever you guys would like, depending on what your computer provides for you guys. So for example, mine can go all the way up to 15, but of course I'm very comfortable at where it is at. Now you should be totally perfect to, you know, at this point, hop onto any server that you guys would like to start playing. A lot of the, uh, well, a little neat feature that both Reforged and Generations has is when you open up the mod pack, you click multiplayer there is actually plenty of servers already provided for you guys for you guys to check out these would be official servers uh to those specific mod packs and uh you guys can hop on and start playing now if you guys do have any issues with the server like you can't log in once you've already allocated the enough memory that you guys can it's pretty much on the server at that point it's no longer on your point on your point unless like your internet's pretty bad uh, but to be honest, yeah, it's usually uh, the server side issues at that point once you've done everything that I've told you about here on my video. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. It's a very simple how to download Pixelmon, guys. I think it's the most easiest way. Both the links that you guys are really going to need, I'm going to provide for you guys. So you guys are more than welcome to just hop in, download Pixelmon, and you guys are good to go. So make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you guys have any issues, comment down below and I'll try to help as much as I possibly can. And one last thing, guys, I do highly recommend you guys follow my Twitter. I want to push my Twitter as much as I can. I tweet on there almost every single day, if not every single day. And if you guys just want to talk to me, it's an easy way to get to me and just talk about different things. Um, be whatever, pop culture, anything like that. It's an easy way to do it. So I'll see you guys on Twitter. Thanks for everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Peace.